Hi everybody, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AlloryTutors.com and in this video we're going to look at making amines from nitriles. Now this is just a very short video just looking at another method of making uh, amines um, and we're going to use the nitrile group which is RCN. Uh, it's got that triple bond in there between the carbon and the nitrogen and actually um, this reaction is, um, is actually important um, because if we compare it to a reaction where we use ammonia and a haloalkane, um, this reaction is actually um, not very um, specific in terms of the type of amine that you want to produce um, because it produces secondary, tertiary and quaternary um, salts as well, so amines as well. So, um, but this reaction I'm going to show you here is actually a lot more specific and um, it's very good for producing primary amines only uh, and it works uh, with aliphatic amines, which are straight chain ones, not aromatics. So um, it is very specific, but if it's, if that, if it's an aliphatic primary amine that you want, then this reaction is, uh, is actually industrially more economically viable to do rather than this reaction here. Okay, so very quickly, uh, it's made in two steps. Uh, the first step is to make your nitrile. Now you can make your nitrile by reacting it with a haloalkane, which in this case I've just represented that as Rx. And if we react that with cyanidine, uh, we actually make our nitrile from there. So um, what I'm going to do is we're going to do this in, uh, uh, on, on the board here. So we're going to react Rx with Cn. And so effectively what you have is your R represents a hydrocarbon group that could be attached to it. Uh, and then you have your nitrile that's produced there. So that's RCn. There's your nitrile. Uh, and obviously you will have your X minus that's your haloiodine that's been um, uh, detached from your haloalkane. And then what we do is we take this product here, which is this one, and it becomes a reactant in the second step. And this is how you would make an aliphatic primary amine. So you would take uh, this and you'd react it with hydrogen. And you would also have a, uh, a catalyst in there. So that could be nickel catalyst, so I'll add that in there. Um, this is a nickel catalyst and you'll also need some heat uh, and actually a high pressure as well. Um, so I'll just put that on there. So it is actually, it does need um, a reasonable amount of energy to actually do this. Um, but you can see that we actually react it with hydrogen and we form C, let's um, put R, uh, C, H2, and H2. Okay, now you can see that we formed our um, amine. However, you can see that this reaction is not quite balanced. So we've got hydrogen gas here. Now hydrogen gas, two of them hydrogens will obviously go on to form the nitrogen on there, which is the obvious one. But a lot of people forget that actually you need two hydrogens as well on this carbon. Because if you're breaking this triple bond or part of the triple bond, um, then you need two hydrogens on there. So actually in terms of balancing, you need two lots of hydrogen gas for every uh, nitrile that you need. Now this is the um, this is the uh, reaction that you would do industrially. Um, there is another way of making it as well. There's numerous ways of making it. So you can use um, lithium aluminium hydride, which is a reducing agent, and you can mix that with a bit of um, diethyl ether uh, and an acid as well. Um, and you can do that in the same way, which is a reduction of a nitrile. Um, that way is quite expensive though, because lithium aluminium hydride is is an expensive material to use. Um, but uh, this way is the more uh, is the industrially accepted way to do it because it's a cheaper use cheaper reagents for this. Um, amines um, are useful for a multitude of things. You can make dyes from them. Uh, you can um, use them. You can react that further to make quaternary salts, which are used in um, fabric softeners, etc. So they do have a lot of use. Um, so industrially, they are economically viable anyway as a product. But that's it. That was going to be short. Hope it helps. Bye.